Okay, we have here today another interesting integral. This one's from the MIT integration B2024, problem two. We have the integral of x minus one to the ln x plus one over x plus one to the ln x minus one dx. Okay, first I really had no idea where to start with this because I can't see like a good u substitution. It's just hard to see how like regular integration techniques are gonna work on this. Having ln x minus one, this seems like a problem in the exponent like that. So the only thing I really came up with is that we somehow need to use algebra to just manipulate this into something that we can work with. So let's just take this problem aside and just see if we can manipulate the algebra. Okay, so putting aside the integral for a moment, what I wanted to do is just take a look at this. And really what I don't like is the exponents. What I want to do is make some kind of substitution for the exponents, and they're different. So what I can do is, let's say for this first one, what I can do is just call this exponent A, and we can call this one B. So coming over here, if I just write this, if I say ln x plus one equals a, and then we have ln x minus one equals b. Well then with the log properties, I can just rearrange each of these. So I can write this one, I can say x plus one is the same thing as e to the a. And then here doing the same thing here, isolating x minus one, I can say x minus one. Again, natural log is base e, so I can write x minus one as e to the b. But then this is pretty nice, because now we have a value for this x minus one here to substitute with. We've got a value for x plus one here to substitute with, and we have a value for each of our exponents. So I can just totally rewrite this thing. For x minus one, we're gonna have, this is gonna be e to the b, and then the exponent is just gonna become a here. And then in the denominator, this x plus one is gonna become e to the a, and this exponent's just b. But then just with regular exponent properties, I can just distribute this inside the parentheses and I can write this as e to the ab and this one as e to the ab. Cancel everything and we just have one. So because our whole integral is one, we'll just rewrite it. We're just integrating one dx. And so for my final solution, we just get x plus c. Okay, so there it is. Pretty interesting problem from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.